four of the top eight seeds were in the quarter-final stage. Four different nationalities at semi-final stage. It's only the seventh time in the 28th World Championships that the four men's singles medals will go to players from four different countries. The last time it happened, though, was last year in Tokyo. So the first of our semi-finals from the top half of the draw. Pranoy from India against the number three seed Kunlawut Widesan of Thailand. From India, Pranoy HS. Pranoy has seen a Sunil Kumar. What an occasion for him. Yesterday, he was in his third consecutive World Championship quarterfinal. He's guaranteed a first ever medal. In fact, his opponent, he's only the Thailand, fifth player from India to medal in the men's singles at the World Championships. He's trying to become only the second player to contest a World Championship final, and standing in his way is this man, Akun Lawut Widersan, who a year ago in Tokyo lost out to Victor Axelsson in the final. He was officially the reigning World Junior Champion when he reached the final last year, uh, because we hadn't had World Junior Championships during the oh, COVID pandemic. Three-time former World Junior Champion. The man from Thailand. Well, this, I can tell you, will be only the second meeting between these two players. The first meeting was in the first round of the All England Championships in Birmingham last year. At 21-15, 24-22, Widersan won on that occasion in Birmingham. That confirms what I've just okay. told you. Black 56 red. minutes for those okay. two red games red. at the All England. It is black. You won the choice. You receive. Stay on that side. Have a good match. So, rather surprisingly, Hulawut Widersan has chosen to receive, having won the toss of the coin. So, Pranoy has chosen the far side of the court. He's 31 years of age. She turned 31 last month. Uh, brought up in uh, Kerala on the southwestern coast. Now lives in Hyderabad. Has been a couple of places higher in the world ranking. One precious week from the middle of May earlier this year at number seven on the world ranking. And he beat Kulyanen, the left-handed Finn, in the first round. In fact, he came from 17-20 down in that first game, saved five game points. Then Chico Wodoyo of Indonesia. That was comfortable, two games. Needed three games to beat the 2021 world champion, Loka New, the number seven seed from Singapore. And in the quarter-final, that magnificent win over the defending champion and number one seed, Victor Axelsson. 21-16 in the deciding game in an hour and eight minutes. Kulawut Widersan is from Bangkok, the 22-year-old, and he's enjoying his 10th week in total at his career high of three. It's actually his second spell at number three. Three finals so far this year for the number three seed, winning two of them in India and Thailand. Uh, beat uh, two Brazilian players in the first two rounds, Jonathan Macias and then Igor Coelho. Uh, both of those in two straight games. Then beat the number 11 seed, the bronze medalist from two years ago at the World Championships. Laksha Sain needed three games, 21-13 in the decider. He also needed three games yesterday against Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei. Came from a game down uh, to win 21-13 in the deciding game in an hour and 21 minutes. 
Uh, Rumpa for this one. Are uh, your Zolushnoi of Estonia and Eric De Roche of Canada, our service judge. Well, what an occasion for Pronoi. Trying to become only the second player from India ever to contest a men's singles final at the World Championships. Kidambri Shrikanth, of course, was the first two years ago when he lost out in Welva to Lo Ken Yu of Singapore. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kunlavot Vititsar, Thailand. And on my left, Pranoy HS, India. Pranoy HS to serve, Lawol, play. So the number nine seed from India, Pranoy, getting this men's singles semi-final underway against the number three seed, Kumla Wuta Widasan. Good start by the Indian player. Seen is absolutely staggering to think that a year ago, Pranoy was not even selected for the Commonwealth Games. <laughs> Yeah. And here he is in the World Championship semi-final. Yeah, he was an absolutely uh, crucial figure in the um, Indian uh, Thomas Cup victory. Pranoy played the third men's singles, shouldered the responsibility. Knowing that India doesn't possess a strong uh, second men's doubles as many others, so I think uh, already then he showed that kind of mental strength that we saw yesterday against Axos, and that was resilience. That he had all chances to sort of uh, call it a day and say, okay, quarterfinal, that was uh, against the uh, reigning world champion on home soil, but uh, he came back and uh, got a fantastic win. Tell us a little bit about this man, Kunla Wutwidazan. To me, the three-time former world junior champion, has the most delightful, easy, relaxed hitting motion, yes. great skills. Uh, uh, um, a big fan of his uh, technical skills. I think perhaps the best technical technical player on on the circuit. Um, really, Wutwidazan. Same coach as um, Rachina Gintanen who won the world title as an 18-year-old back in 2013. Lots of um, badminton intelligence as well, so we're in for a, a great battle, I think. Um, I don't know about the footwork. Uh, I think he can become stronger there, but, but he's... He's more, I think he's more light-footed than it looks at a first glance. And um, you have to remember that the technical skills are absolutely top class, so it takes a lot to put him under, under a lot of pressure. I think one of the uh, differences to yesterday that, that Pernoy will have to uh, cope with is that I think probably Vitasan is is um, a little bit better from below the tape on the front court than Axelsen. I think this 
understanding of, of Pernod yesterday was extraordinary. There were several times where I felt that he lost four long, long rallies in the beginning of the second game. Still came back and won the match. So I underestimated the, his stamina. Well, he guessed incredibly well there on the defence earlier on in the rally. Pernoy. It was a short lift and he decided he had to take a gamble and he guessed correctly. And so he did yesterday against Axels and on numerous occasions he read the Dane smashes. So, oh, what's now going on? Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, now what is happening? He's changing the socks. If you've got new socks, they do tend to be a little bit slippy in, yes, the, in th the shoes. that won't do. New socks won't do. No, you've got to wear them in. And it's also a big risk of blisters playing in new socks. But, well, I mean, uh, by the look of his, the taping on his feet, he's already got blisters. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think the feet of top men singles players is any pretty sight. <laughs> the women's singles players for that matter. They're taking a beating. All the stop and go, twist and turns. Probably should have realised during his warm-up on the warm-up courts that the socks weren't quite right. Oh, that came off the frame. One of the question marks um, for me about Bitsan here in, in this tournament has been his shoulder. Uh, he, um, he withdrew from Singapore Open against um, Anthony Ginting. In the semi-final. Yes, after receiving treatment on his shoulder, I think. I don't know if it was that match or the, the previous match, I don't recall it. But he received treatment on his shoulder and, and finally called it a day. So, is it totally fresh? I thought it was more of a problem with his legs in Singapore. Yeah, but I think because he had he had won the previous week his home event, the Thailand Open. Yeah. And uh, that was a terrific result for him. And I thought that he was looking as if he'd run out of power in the legs yeah but it, it, I'm not right, sure. he, he did get he did get cold spray on his shoulder yeah didn't play Indonesia Open the week after then went to Canada and lost the first round to Laksha Sen I don't understand that um, decision to go to Canada maybe to test how things were going Well left by Pranoy. Nine, five. five straight points. Boy, that's a brilliant smash. Absolutely fabulous. Well, yesterday and today, without any shadow of a doubt, the best I've seen for an oi play. Just, now he's been back for for a long while, but but he's really been struggling um, with injuries, and we've seen him. Was it um, in 17 or 18 in Indonesia Open when he uh, did 
defeated both um, Li Chong Wei and uh, Wen Lin Tan. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. Extraordinary. Four, five down to 11, five up. Seven straight points. Oh, that's a wonderful smash. Threaded it down the line. Gopichant and Guru Saidat, two Indian coaches. Yeah, it's gone long. Got to be wary of that. Hitting with the drift. If the drift is the same as it's been earlier yeah. in the week. Perhaps it does, it's the sideways drift that has um, the most significance here. Oh, oh that's that's good. Well right. Always a sign a player's in trouble in singles when they turn and play the backhand from deep in court. You've got your back to the net, you can't see where your opponent is, you can't see where the court is. Brilliant. Really uh, controlled this match so far, Pranoy found the back line uh, very nicely and uh, it looks to be in uh, in really great balance all the time and with the shot making we saw yesterday then i think uh, vitisan has to do something wow absolutely flowing at the moment for Anoy. Eleven of the last thirteen points. Yeah. What a great start. Sometimes you see when you've made a big result in the uh, earlier round, then that it's taking a lot of mental energy, and and um, it takes a while to get going. But here he's just come off firing on all cylinders, uh, Pranoy. Yeah, he certainly has. Oh, 
start is over. 9-16. play from Widdersan. It's not only mental energy that you use in a match like uh, playing against the defending champion and reigning Olympic champion. It, it's also that you look at the draw at the beginning of the week and you say to yourself, OK, I can see myself getting to the quarterfinal. And you build yourself up to play against the Olympic champion yeah. and world number one. And so many players then after that sort of forget that they've got to build themselves up again for the next match because it was that was the target at the yes. beginning of the week. But uh, honestly, Pernoy is playing so well and his mental resilience so far has been superb. Well, I think it's important that um, that Bitsasan challenges this uh, control that Pernoy has had over the rallies. Uh, I think he's simply too good a, a shot maker, the Indian, to uh, leave the initiative to him. Clever play in the shot below the tape. Service over, 17-11. Just long. Service over. 12, 17. Thank you. Oh, good follow up from Pranoy. The shot quality has been outstanding. That's super difficult. Hitting a smash, moving across and playing it back with accuracy to the site where you came from. That, that's just super difficult. Yeah, but he made it look easy, didn't he? He, he did. When he played Axelson yesterday, Pernoy won the toss of the coin and chose that far he end did. to start. And, and wasn't really that much in the match in the first game. No. Lost to 13, am I correct? Lost to 13, then won 15 and 16. Yeah. Okay, he's gradually closing down the gap, Widdersun. An attack down the forehand 19, side. Rush is in. The advantage attacking cross is that you can run immediately because you, you must be like 98% that it's going to be a straight um, reply if the opponent gets to it. 
and especially with the uh, placement that Pranoy has had here in the first game, which has been really close to the lines. This opening game is beyond Widdersum, but there's definite signs to me that he's very much played himself into this match. Yeah. He's got to pick himself up quickly. I think he does. Yeah, he was just too casual on the final kill. And sometimes a miss like that, when you're in a winning position, can change the momentum of a game. That's, uh, that's nightmare material. Yeah. Only two points the deficit now. 17 19. And again. Challenge here from Widdersan. First challenge of this semi final. It didn't look like he really believed in it, Widdersan. Here we go. Plum on the line. Challenge. So it's game point opportunities One challenge remaining. for Pranoy. Service over. 20. Three game opportunities. It. Well, there's signs that it's not going to be smooth sailing even if he secures this first game, um, Pranoy. Yeah, that's what I alluded to a moment ago yeah. when I said that Widdersan had very much played himself into this match. Oh, what now? Well, the doctor's being called. Who's this for? It's for Widdersan. That's extraordinary. I think it's a knee. I think it's, um, yeah. Is it a blood injury? Uh, yeah, braise? I, think, I think it's a wound on the knee. You want me to put tape on this? No tape. No tape? Next to the spring. Tournament doctors. We've got three here, and I suspect that's Dr. Vikram Sharma from India. Well, we 
rules of international sport, his blood injuries must be treated immediately. 18-20, still two game point opportunities for Pranoy. Yeah. What a great yeah. net shot. Converts on his second. 21-18. Opening game. Well, what a tournament he's having. 21-18 in 24 minutes. Pranoy. He's beaten World Championship gold medalists in the last two rounds. And he's one game up against the number three seed. One game to the good in the World Championship semi-final against the silver medalist from a year ago. Kula Wood that's beautiful lengths on that shot. Shot from HS Pernoy. Pure backhand kill. Backhand smash. Gone up here. Yes, it has. Long. More left. the line. We will challenge that. Yeah, he is challenging. I thought it was good. You, Steen? Uh, I think it might have uh, gone just, just missed. Wide. Here we go. What does the instant review say? Uh, yep. On the line. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Four, love. What a good start to the second yeah. game, having already won the first. Play. And he's come out 
looking for the opportunities to attack uh, Pranoy. I like that. One, four. Oh, it's landed in. That's a misjudgment from Kunla Woods. Five, one. Having question marks in my own mind about whether Pranoy can sustain this level of intensity. Yeah. The pace. Yeah. Because, as you rightly pointed out, they've they've upped the pace. Four, five. But I, I recall. Um, some of the previous tournaments that we've covered this year where I've said that I feel that there's a, a limit as to how fast he can play um, Pranoy and, and it's probably a little bit lower than some of the other players but he makes up for it with uh, excellent um, shot making. Yeah. And I praised uh, Vizisan's technical skills but, but uh, we also have to say that um, the noise is uh, not much behind, if at all. This time he's right, with the sun. First time he plays on court one. was a tired looking shot. I think so too. He's being made to move yeah. the long diagonal and uh, Vizisan is working hard in um, the defense. Just getting to that one is not easy. Look how quick he's up. Oh, that's landed in. Service over. Seven, six.
Start this over. Seven all. Yeah, I think that's also worrying for Indian fans. In the opening game, he was moving to the shuttle. Yeah. He allowed the shuttle to come to him there. And that's the thing, we, you, you never know how long the rallies affect the players. Yesterday, Pranoy lost a number of uh, long rallies in the second game, but I still feel that was the... Uh, road to victory for him because he won a lot of rallies suddenly quite easily missed it but here the signs are that um, it's troubling him so for the first time in this second game with his son goes into the lead Son. Eight of the last ten to uh, the time. That's way long. He's not really certain on that back line, uh, Peter Sun. He was following it all the way. Twitterzan is challenging, and I think it was out. But if he loses this, he's out of challenges, right? If he loses it, he's out of challenges, definitely. Here we go. But he's not out of challenges. Sharp, Good challenge. The calls. So, 11-7 on a run of five straight points. We descend to the mid-game interval with the advantage. Well, a slightly more concerned-looking Pulela Gopachand during that coaching break. Yeah, given the development and, uh, and the signals there, I think they were discussing what to do from his um, short forehand uh, when, when played on this diagonal. Pranoy. Oi, oi, oi. 13, seven. seven straight points. He was up 5-1. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, yes, that's a lovely shot. And finally, 
the run of points is broken. Uh, and the combination was uh, lift there and then play it back cross when the cross clear comes. Lovely block. Almost off the right hip. A lovely skill from Pronoy. Yeah, I think one of the important thing for Pronoy is to not give um, Mitterson too much time when he's lifting. One of the great skills that Hulawut Wittesan possesses. Pranoy left absolutely stranded. Okay, again, he was. Racket carriage was high. And then he just turns that racket head at the last moment to guide it across court. Absolutely beautiful. Shot. So too is that. And you can see the body of uh, Bittesan just moving a little bit. Means the deception is working. This is a crucial phase, you know. Big point. Well taken. Very well taken by the young Thai. That's strong. Being able to make that um, move so far into the rally, he's been working, or he had been working really, really hard in the defense. And the opening uh, exchanges. Longest rally so far. 31 shots. We had a rally in the women's singles. 54 shots, didn't we? Yeah, I think we had. Oh, lucky net court. Service over. 11, 15. Oh, yes. Great plan. Yeah. 15. Long. 
Yeah, oh, I left. This is getting very, very interesting. The ebb and flow of this game. One player pulls away, then the other one gets back, and then they pull away. Now Pranoy looks as if he's getting back. the short lift with the terrific net shot. Coolerwood with his son. 16-13. Quickly. Yeah. It's on the double service line when he plays that final smash. That's not deep enough, the lift from Pranoy. Now he wasn't missing those sort of shots in the opening game, was he? Steve? No, he wasn't. But I, I still feel his uh, approaches to the net, his change of pace, closing the net down and so on, uh, I, I don't think there's any stamina problem for, uh, for Pernoy. and flick from his forehand to deep in the Pranoy forehand. Here it comes. That's just delightful disguise and skill, isn't it? Wonderful. Three points away. The number three seed from sending this to a third and deciding game. Make that two points away. 19-13. was a tired looking shot to me yeah. and it is seven opportunities to force a third and deciding game well considering he was 1-5 down in this second game Kunlawut Widdesan has shown great resilience and great fighting spirit seven game points only needed the one 21-13 to the silver medalist from a year ago, Kunlawut Widdesan. 47 minutes into the match, and it is indeed one game all. Umpire just signalling that they need some more shuttles. มันไปคิดก่อนมั่นใจมากคือดูลูกมารับไปลูกมารับไปแล้วมั่นใจมากเออลูกมารับไปแล้วออกลูกมั่นใจโอเคคุณเชื่อว่าความมั่นใจเร
Well, of course, all semi-finalists at the World Final Championships game. are guaranteed a medal. Bravo. Play. Uh, but when you're so close in a semi-final, you surely have the belief that the gold could be yours. It's all coming down to this final game as to who will contest the final tomorrow. Smash from Kumla Root. One oh. Yeah, that was what I felt he needed to do a little bit um, more in the opening game, take more initiative. But and he did from the early stages. That's a good smash. My oh, goodness me, that's clinical, isn't it? It is. And again, change of pace. Uh, I wonder if we'll see the pace go up again here in the early stages. I think we saw that in the second game. And even though Pernoy got up 5-1, it was uh, Vitesan who prevailed afterwards. I think it's vital for Pernoy that he sticks with his opponent, keeping the court yes. scores close in these early stages. I think so too. Oh. Mister. There, there's, uh, fr from Pernoy's point of view, there's too many one hit wonders. Yep. Or attempts at one hit wonders. It's actually becoming one-hit disasters. Five, one. They're looking very concerned yes. aren't they, on the uh, Indian coaching bench. And I think there's two uh, possible explanations. Either he is, in fact, um, quite... Uh, affected by the uh, longevity of the match and the tournament and the uh, mental part of it or he's uh, quite tense because of the um, situation where you feel you have a you have a decent chance of making the world championship final he's up the pace in that rally yeah. That was a terrific rally from Pronoy's perspective. And the thing is, if he can put pressure on Vitesan from the front court to the mid-court, back-court area of um, the tie, then it's going to be difficult for, for Vitesan to get the correct length on the, on the lift if he wants to play the back-court. And then Pronoy can come in with his attack. Good defense.
Oi, oi, oi. Wow. Sensational from Pranoy. All out attack. Great follow up. How did he get that back? Oh, the dive there from the Thai player. I have no idea how he managed to play that. Take a look at this. Gets up again so quickly. It long. Service over. Seven, four. What would you be advising Pranoy right now? Yeah, it, it, like we've seen him successful with the, um, the increases of uh, pace and attack. Uh, he's got to attack. There's no doubt in my mind that he's got to attack. Uh, it's, of course, a fine line. We've seen him go really sharp for the net, making mistakes, but 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 uh, after watching when he was successful in getting the lifts, I feel like that's probably where he needs to dominate. He needs to dominate the front court um, to get the uh, attacking possibilities. Like now. Yeah. Fast paced, yeah. Good play. Yeah. Didn't lift one single shuttle towards the back of the court in that rally for Noy. Everything back to the net. And when he gets that kind of um, angle on his shots on the uh, the high lift, then he's he's dangerous for Vitesan. It's about getting to it on the front court as quick as possible, so he's got options of playing it back or lifting flat. Great shot. Pace has increased again, hasn't it? That yeah. was a lovely backhand. That's a bit loose. That's the chance. No, it's too good to lift. It's gone long. He's challenging. It's actually his first challenge of the match for Noy. That's all long. Yeah, I did too. I think Pranoy probably did too. Yeah. Challenge done line judge. Successful. One challenge remaining. Service over, 8-5. I think if I was Pranoy, I would try to see if I could move the um, net exchanges to my backhand side. Play. I feel he's a bit sharper in his backhand side. Oh, 
Oh, that's a beauty. Flat, it's gone long. He's challenged now from Widersan. I saw that as long as well. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too, yeah. no doubt about it. It's a great battle we have here as well. Yeah. Way long. On earth is challenge he doing challenging that? One challenge remaining. Played a long match yesterday as well. With Sun against uh, Wang Su Wei, who looked in good shape here in uh, Copenhagen. Yeah, it was lovely to see Wang Su Wei playing well again. Yes. Uh, yeah, that match, that quarterfinal for the Thai player was an hour and 21 minutes. Thank you. Oh, that's a beauty. Seven, that was plum on the line. Nine, seven. Extremely quick to get uh, behind that one with Sun. Just put a bit of a reverse slice on that, creating disguise, making Pranoy unsure. That's very worrying that it came back long, that uh, smash defense there from uh, Vitsisan, that Pranoy can't really be short, certain of anything. Great defence. Brilliant. And it is the silver medalist from a year ago, Gunlawood Witterson, who has the advantage at the change of ends. And it's a four point advantage. He has worked so hard in this match to get himself back into it after losing the opening game and being 1-5 down in the second. Eleven seven. Well, I wonder what Pranoy has got left physically and mentally. He's up against it now because with Virasan is looking extremely good. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking variations from that uh, long backhand. 
but also from the short forehand here. If you could have played that one uh, cross net, for instance. So trying to find some odd footwork combinations for uh, for Vitesan, who at the moment looks like he could play like the next two, three hours because he he thinks it's fun to play badminton. That's great. That's a good shot. That is just <laughs> amazing. What a net shot from Pranoy. Where on earth did that come from? Chopped underneath the shuttle and played the perfect tumbling net shot. That's another tired looking shot to me. Yeah, it's a pity. Side. Yeah. This is dire straits for the Indian. Yeah, I thought halfway through that second game I saw signs of fatigue. And I think he's been struggling ever since. Yeah. This is a lead where Mr. Sun perhaps could get a little bit too comfortable. Boy, that's a beauty. Yeah, well played. Very well played by Pranoy. Ten fourteen. Played at All England last year. Its son had the first game and a fairly comfortable lead in the second, but was caught up by Pranoy. Eventually, Its son prevailed in uh, extra points. advantage at this stage of a match I think is considerable no other way for Pranoy. He's got to 
play with a little bit extra risk on uh, the front court on the net. Then get on the attack and be ready to work really hard in the attack because most likely one smash is not enough to uh, secure a good position to kill it. the deficit to three points now Pranoy and that should give him encouragement because three points is somehow believable five points seems a mountain to climb oh that's lovely yeah. absolutely delightful 16. from Kunlawut oh. Widersan the last men's singles player to reach two consecutive finals 16, at the World Championships was Kento Momota 2018 and 19 Kulawut only five points away from doing the same thing has gone long it's one left service over 13 16 ever closer to his goal. 17, the tie player. Good touch in the defence there. Lovely touch. Opened up a five point cushion, and the number three seed Kunlulu Twidasan three points away from a second consecutive world championship final. has gone wide, two points away from a second consecutive men's singles final. now or never, as far as Pernoy is concerned.
14, 19. Match point opportunities for last year's beaten finalist, Ulla Wood Widersan. Missed it. Game. And for a second consecutive year, Gunlawut Widersan of Thailand will contest the men's singles final. 21 14 in the deciding game in an hour and just under 16 minutes. The dream is over for Pranoy, but he has made his mark in these world championships. The fifth different men singles player from India to win a world championship medal. Match won by Kunlawot Vidisan, 18 20. He gave it his all. 21, 13, 21, he played 14. so brilliantly yesterday against the defending champion, Victor Axelson. But today, he was beaten by the better player. So, confirmation of the scoreline, 18-21, 21-13, 21-14. And Kunla Wood of Thailand through to a second consecutive men's singles final. Well, coming up next, the second of the men's doubles semi-finals. Kang Ming here and Seo Sung Jae of Korea. Up against the defending champions, Aaron Shah and So Wee.
So welcome back to Copenhagen and semi-finals day at the Total Energies BWF World Championships. Two more matches to come and next up